Hey there everyone, today I'm gonna try something, uh, gonna do a comparison. Pretty funny one because most of us don't consider uh, these two titles similar, and I also don't. But, this is where I can find these same cars repeated. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna test the 917K uh, on Project Cars 3, and then I'm gonna do the same on Assetto Corsa. Uh, just to see how different it is, because that's how you can tell how much of a step a set of course is in terms of, of, of force feedback and other items, um, just how, how things are. I know for a fact that Project Cars 3, um, there's very low feedback on the road. I don't feel the road at all almost, I just feel a little bit of force when you're turning, but the road itself, you don't feel bumps as like as much you don't feel like I don't know project cars 2 had a little bit better force feedback uh, a set of course on the other hand that was amazing force feedback uh, most people don't consider project cars 3 a sim I consider it somewhat of a sim just not a hardcore sim or even a serious sim I consider it a sim if you're gonna go uh, take a car for laps uh, lap times and stuff I don't consider it a sim if you're racing because when you're racing the AI is so bad and like this game was almost meant for you to crash and push cars out of the way which is kind of stupid when you go and you know you get licensed for all these cars um, that the game includes. It includes some really impressive cars, the 935, these things like the new Ferrari, stuff like that, uh, Bugattis, all that. And, like it's kind of sad that they kind of made the the racing a little bit arcadey instead of uh, serious so the tire model is also uh, garbage there's no refueling there's none of that so they kind of messed up in that sector but if you just pick up a car take it to a track to go do some laps it's it's okay it's a, it's a sim um the force feedback is not is not very good like honestly it isn't and um, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hop in. So the track I'm choosing is the Nordschleife. I'm going to see what kind of time and how it feels with this car. And then I'm going to compare it to, pro uh, to a Seto Corsa. And see. And I'm going to comment while I'm driving on a Seto Corsa how much of a big difference it is. As I'm going to comment here as well um, what I'm feeling at the time. So this is the Porsche 917K. It is a beautiful vehicle. Um, it's a prototype vehicle from way back and it is just amazing i think recently i saw a youtube video some guys actually took some onto tracks and uh the whole body is super light i believe it's this one that they said they had to fill the actual frame with helium or something to keep the car super light uh pretty impressive stuff uh don't quote me on what i just said because i might be wrong but i believe that's what they said at the time i might be wrong but with that said I chose summer, afternoon time, I have no assists on, and I intend to do the same on Assetto Corsa, but it might not work out. I still don't even know how it'll work out on uh, Project Cars 3, because I haven't driven this car at all on this game. But, with that said, let's go, let's get this party started, and let's see what kind of time I can do. Take a quick look at the beast, looks, uh, looks like a Batmobile, that's the first thing lights work I don't need them uh, unfortunately this ported to PS5 kind of I don't know sometimes the graphics kind of flicker Assetto Corsa is even worse in that aspect I've noticed um, but yeah with that said I'll go to my favorite camera I like to have things like pretty close I'm actually gonna move the seat more I want myself centered I want the wheel centered right with that like man I'm seeing the gauges right through here uh, perfect it's just like being in the vehicle if I had a triple screen unfortunately the PS5 does not have that uh, I don't know why the force feedback is kicking in it happens quite a lot on this game see the car is not even moving and it's already uh, that kind of tells you how messed up the force feedback is on this game see it's slowly oh, all right you lose control my friend Maybe it's the power of the mind. I'm controlling it with the power of the mind. But uh, yeah, I can't imagine. Like I have a 43 inch right now because that's kind of what fits in this room in a good way. Uh, but can you imagine, like, on a PC with this game or like a Seto Corso or an ACC, and you get like three, three of these, three 43 inch screens. These are TVs, but you can probably get uh, monitors as well just wrapping around you that would be just insane and I've seen some guys that have like the 60 inches and it looks so good but let's shut up now and uh, oh I chose the wrong um, Nürburgring this is the Nürburgring this isn't the Nordschleife is it hmm 
let's restart here. With the, uh, okay, that was where I made the mistake. I'm just gonna go straight to the regular um, Nordschleife and go back. And here we go. Um, on AC, I do intend to use the, uh, you know, the slick tires if it has them available. If it doesn't, I won't. But uh, I don't know if the basic setting had. I don't know what kind of tires the game has. This game doesn't really have a good tire model, but you can switch what kind of tires, I believe. Like, you can go soft, hard, uh, medium, I don't know. I don't really switch too much, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, and um, see what the high grip does for me. Also gotta say, like, I wasn't using any assists, and maybe I should've, but I mean, this car back in the day didn't have assists. All right, so high grip, selected. And let's see if there's any difference. All right, my pretty one, and it is beautiful. And it does look amazing here. Even though the graphics are not insane on this game anymore. Turn, my son, let's go places. in the feedback department, still floating. The grip department. The grip department, uh, yeah, I think it's better. That part I can say that I believe it's better. Now I'll go downhill here and then uphill like a roller coaster. But, let's slow down, I don't want to fly yet. Yeah, definitely grippier. Still not enough, but definitely better. Oh man, the first feedback, right now I just felt it so bad. It, uh, it felt it so bad in, in a bad way, like almost none right there when I was trying to correct. And you can see by the by, by the vibration of the wheel that it's so low, almost next to none. Uh, so it is grippy right now, grippier, not perfect, but I mean, it's much better. I'm gonna slow down here because I know this car with me driving it, I can't do that curve properly. Great for turning. Still need to crank that wheel quite a bit. The steering ratio isn't the best. But uh, yeah, there is an improvement with the grip. Just that force feedback. Like I almost, you know, AC, I need to actually apply, I need to use my muscles to keep that wheel in place. This game you could almost, uh, you know, you could probably steer with your pinky fingers and still be fine. I wonder why they haven't patched that. I don't know if on the computer it is. I don't know if this is like that on the computer. I'm playing on the PS5. I wonder if on the uh, PC, if the force feedback is improved or maybe they've bought it. I wonder why Slightly Mad has not patched this or done something about it. You know, because it was embarrassing in the beginning when the game came out. I bought it day one and bought the deluxe even though I saw like, I saw like the videos showcasing how the game would look and like the whole drifting fiasco where people were pissed off and I gotta admit I was also pissed off. If I wanna drift I'll get like you know I'll get need for speed or you know make build a drifting section into games. I was kinda sad to see that. And then they're like, oh here's the uh, here's the the simulation mode. It was better but it was super hard to tell. And the car was still kind of drifty in my opinion, the Corvette on that video. Alright, grip my son, grip so I can speed up a bit. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, that kind of ruined the game a bit for me. But regardless of that, it's still fun to pick up a car, come do some laps, stuff like that. I don't take it too seriously. Uh, it's just fun to do that. That's the only thing I do in this game. I quit the campaign, uh, the single player thing, and I didn't turn early enough. Uh, I quit that. 
I gave up because I do not like it. You know, you go do uh, two lap races, three lap races. Uh, it takes forever to get money to buy cars. That is so annoying. It's like, wow, you do a bunch of stuff and you get paid like so little. At least do like Gran Turismo where you could actually, you know, make quite a bit of money quick if you want. Miss, repeat the same races or something, get money. This game, like, I don't know, it just takes forever. Like, I think I put a bunch of hours into that and I was able to buy the 911, the new one, the 992, the Corvette, the uh, Civic Type R, which by the way, I don't know why games aren't releasing. They haven't got the Civic Type R, the new one, and I don't know if many people know this, but the Civic Type R is one of the fastest front-wheel drives, uh, front-wheel drive vehicles around the North Schleife. If you watch Donut Media, they actually explain that. Uh, the fastest car is another vehicle, uh, like a four-drive vehicle. It's another vehicle, I forgot the name, and I know another one that I believe was faster than the uh, Type R was the Renault Megane RS. That's European, so some people might have not heard about Renault. Pretty cool vehicles. Actually, my dad's best friend owns a Renault dealership in Portugal. Um, and my dad actually worked for him when he was uh, younger, for his dad, actually. And he uh, repaired cars back in the day, and then he came to Canada and did it here for a while until he injured himself. to it. I feel like sometimes I'm using like third gear on curves where I should be using a second. Because the gears back in the day were a lot longer. Now they're short. So a lot of times you do need to go to second gear to do the proper curve or third. Um, back in the day you would need to go sometimes to first to do a proper tight curve. And on ACC I do use the first gear for like the super tight ones. I do use that quite a bit. Pretty good for time, 6 minutes 34, so I'm going to be like 7 minutes, 7, 10 maybe, I don't know. Um, there was an improvement, gotta admit, in terms of the grip. I still slid off the track slightly, but right here you can tell the difference. Earlier I did slide a little bit out. Try to avoid those apexes. grip it is different I said seven minutes ten and that's pretty much almost there seven twelve yeah now my thoughts with the high grip uh, better definitely better definitely much better but uh, like I said the force feedback is still very bad very mild road effects zero close to none uh, the sound the cars do sound great the car does sound great in my opinion, it's just you really need to uh, put up your volume if you want to hear it properly, because this game for some reason the volume output, you got to really bring it up. Now if I enter with this volume into a set of course it's going to boost so loud, and this is the TV, I didn't buy surround sound for this room yet. Um, but yeah, with that said, that is the 917K on Project Cars 3, I'm going to go ahead and uh, test this out on AC, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. As you can see, the 917K Nordschleife. This is Project Cars. And as for the weather, you guys probably can't see that, so I'm going to go ahead and move this down a little bit, or kind of like mid there. Um, weather, very similar. I'm going to keep that on. And then I have automatic, uh, I don't have automatic gearbox, but I do have automatic clutch and all that. Um, I got that off, traction control, all these things factory because it didn't really have it, so it's not going to be on. Uh, tire wear and all that I do have on, even fuel consumption. Uh, the reason why I have these on is because I don't have a gearbox, like a, a stick shift, so I need to use my paddles. I do have a, I do have a clutch on this, on these pedals, but uh, unfortunately, 
unfortunately, I can't really use them without having the stick, so there's no point. But let's go in and see what kind of time and how it feels on this game. Just these pedals, they're kind of like they're moving around there. Alright, I need to upgrade my seat at some point in life. I upgraded the wheel, and who knows, with things going one day, maybe I'll get a direct drive. And oh, like I said, I forgot about bringing the sound down. So now I just brought it down. The sound was still super loud compared to uh, uh, Project Cars 3. So let me just take a look at the setup. I want to be fair and put the same type of tires. So a lot more stuff that you can edit for people that haven't played this game. Uh, you can actually edit quite a bit. Tire compound you only have the vintage, so I can't really put high grip tires. I get what I get, and I'm pretty sure these are high grip anyway because they're the original ones. Uh, but then there's no TC, none of that, and I'm not going to change anything. That was the only thing I wanted to change was the tires, but I can't. Okay, let's take a look on the outside parts. I forgot what... Uh, okay, that, so it looks even wider here, but I guess that has to do with the angle. And uh, it looks just as beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the flickering that I was talking about. The shadow flickers a bit. Um, lights work as well, just like uh, Project Cars 3. And I'm sure the force feedback right now will be completely different as I do have it set up really high. So... It also sounds better already in my opinion. But let's go. See how fast I'll crash this. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you can feel you can feel the road already. There is something off about the force feedback, I believe. Ooh, I might have to. You know, let's go restart. Feels like it's not as strong as before. Where are the options here? Oh, I don't have any. But I did have this uh, set up pretty high. I need to confirm, I wonder if something got lost. I'm gonna go back and test that out just to see. Just sucks that I have to go all the way back to options. So, kilometers per hour, controls, yeah. Okay. Where did I change? Oh, advanced. Right, I believe. Curb force feedback. Road force feed. Okay, that is a little lower than before. I want that at 80. And that. Uh, force feedback was at 100, like I said. Understeer effects. I don't really know what that does anyway. Okay, did it save this way? Let's go test this out this way. Um, just gotta load up the game again. I apologize for that. Do a little tweaking there, but that is the settings I did. I guess just with different cars, it's different. Like one of these days, it was so powerful that I could barely keep my my hands on the wheel. Um, not with this car though. It was with uh, what vehicle was I using? I don't remember. No, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there was nothing to change anyway. But let's see with these settings if it's a little bit better. It's snappy, like it, when you try to correct, like it's heavy. Oh yeah, and it does push. It's not as strong as uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione, but this game was also out a good four years before ACC. And what did I do, seven minutes, 12 or something? Let's see what kind of time I can do with this. To be all fair, I don't have like what they call high grip tires or whatever. And the turning department, similar. The force feedback is better. slow down here. I don't know if it wants to take off on this game as well. It 
does feel actually grippier than Project Cars 3, even without like a super grip uh, setting. I also don't know if it actually hits the 300k. On Project Cars 3 it did. No ABS, that's what happens. Car will, the brakes locked a little bit. But yeah, the force feedback is better. Not super, super strong, but strong enough that it's pulling me. You can actually feel the road, like I feel bumps now as I'm driving. And I didn't even have my road effects at maximum. And then I crashed there. So my theory earlier, even with Project Cars 3, the theory of uh, slowing down for that curve, uh, I was probably right. I tried winging it, tried to enter a little faster, and that's what happened. I slid right away. So that's some lost time right there. sounds amazing on this game and I think it does sound really good on Project Cars 3 but it just sounds so much better on AC and it feels much better too like it feels like I'm actually driving a vehicle and I know for a fact because uh, I've seen videos of like actual guys that actually race with real race cars and they say AC is closer to what reality is, uh, brought, or AC, the first one, uh, not as much. Sometimes uh, I saw one guy explaining like sometimes the apexes deliver a certain grip on the game, where in really in real life it doesn't. Uh, but that's normal. Like game will never replicate reality 100%. It won't. It just won't because it doesn't have the real life physics that you get. Uh, in reality, right? There's so many different things that contribute uh, wind, uh, temperature, all that. Uh, even though ACC, for example, does have the wind and temperature uh, mechanics, I don't know if this game does have it. I never really paid attention to that. But getting back into this, yeah, force feedback is much better. It doesn't turn great, so that is, it's good to see that that is similar on both games. That the way the car turns, is very similar. Uh, the force feedback, like I said, is much better on this one. Uh, but the feel of the car itself, very similar. Like, I gotta say, it's not all that different. So it's literally, it comes down to project cars just not having the proper tire model and proper force feedback. If they did, then it would probably be very similar, very, very similar. Like, extremely similar. Right now, I consider it similar enough. Oh, man. Uh, I consider it similar enough, but still far from what it could be. Outsidey parts there, man. The not having ABS uh, is tough. You need to practice a few laps before you, do, you actually try to go a little aggressive. Uh, see on. Project Cars 3, that's the one thing is I didn't really notice too much have an ABS or not. This car doesn't have ABS, I believe, uh, from stock. Uh, what I'm trying to say is on that game when I was braking, the car did not lock the brakes. Unlike this one, this one mimics reality a lot better in that aspect. Like, the brakes actually lock if you, if you don't use them properly, which I wasn't. And I believe I'm gonna have a much worse time, but I'm also, it also feels a lot more realistic. And it's a different game altogether. And that's kind of where Project Cars starts failing, is just how realistic. And then that tire model, and all those little things that hopefully they fix on the next one. I believe it was their CEO said, uh, you know, the next one will be an amazing sim or the best sim ever. So, man, I hope he keep, I hope he does make the best sim ever. You know, 
you lost this battle, you made a project cars that was mediocre, but you might, you know, pull it off on the next one, fix fix what you did on this one, and you know, people start coming back, because a lot of guys didn't even get this one. A lot of guys actually continue playing the second one. A lot of actual groups don't even accept people talking about Project Cars 3, because they don't consider it the same game. And in, in all reality, it is a little bit fair that they do that, because the game is very different. It is very different. They feel different. They, uh, they act different. Um, yeah, like... Much worse time here, but I also believe this car, I'm gonna see on the streets, I think I did like 310 or something kilometers per hour with uh, Project Cars 3, and the car is not tuned because I didn't buy the car in the game, I'm just using like the, let's call it a rental, because Project Cars 3, if you want to use cars that you don't own on the campaign, you can rent cars. So, in all fairness, if this doesn't even get to 300, it probably means that uh, the time lost may come from there. But it is, yeah, it is about the same. It's actually gotten faster. Much faster. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so fast. Right here was a curve that wasn't very good, but oh boy. In all fairness, this would be closer to reality if I was actually driving the car. Try another lap. Let's see. Go a little more aggressive now that I kind of kind of know the car a bit better, and let's see how much time I can save. Because I did what seven minutes forty something. is fast as hell though and it is super satisfying to drive I know for a lot of people it's uh, it's one of those comparisons where it's like oh come on man you're comparing something that um, you know, you can't even compare these two games or these two sims. And it, it is true, you can't really compare them. Even though the driving did feel in some ways similar, uh, you can't really compare because there is a big difference in terms of the force feedback and even the tire model itself, how realistic it feels here compared to the other game. Um, it's just, these are the only two games I don't think Gran Turismo has this vehicle, I believe GT7 will have it. The Gran Turismo Sport does not have this portion. Uh, Project Cars 3 does, so this is a way to just compare what the difference is. Um, and it is pretty different in terms of uh, like the things I just said. Now how the car drives, I think it's similar. Like the way it turns, the way it behaves very similar but then it's the it's like I said the force feedback the, the braking is much worse uh, much worse here because the other one feels assisted even with all the assists off it feels assisted while here you don't have ABS the brakes lock and all that there on Project Cars 3 I did not feel brakes lock I did lose the tail a couple of times but like those are just simple effects here I feel more in control of the car even though I did a worse slap, but I do feel like I'm more in control. And I do feel now, after one lap, that I can like start pushing a bit more, try to improve my, my last lap from my last lap and see how many seconds I can save. Hopefully I don't crash because I'm not in the worst sector yet, which is towards the end. That last third of the of the track is uh, pretty messed up, and I bet most people that like going to the North Life video games, they know it, and they know it very well. 
I don't even remember what they call that sector in real life, but it is a messed up se sector. Like it's it's hard, but that's where you know that's where you separate the men from the boys. Uh, the experienced guys. I can't believe back in the day how guys with those cars without no assists, nothing. And we gotta say nowadays, even if you turn off all your assists on these cars, they're just so wide and so grippy and they have so much technology that they still help you a bit like formula one you can't compare a formula one car from back in the day to these ones um, you know and, and and that's how i kind of feel like those guys were back in the day driving on this track like they must have been beasts i wonder how well they would do like now in the modern days with these cars Considering that they were so used to those cars, I wonder, I wonder how much better they would do. They would probably be just insane. They were already insane, but now they would just be like, I don't know, they would probably beat all the guys that race nowadays, who knows? Um, it's tough to see, it's tough to compare. It's almost like soccer, it's tough to compare like Messi, Ronaldo with Pele and Maradona. Maradona maybe it's easier because he played a little more recently in the 80s. 70s, 80s. Pele was way back in the day, and Eusebio and all those guys. Um, it's just like that. It's tough to compare. Technology, the balls, the balls themselves change. They're they're much different. Um, injuries, just everything nowadays. I find it it may be easier, but then when I kind of see replays of back in the day, kind of looks like the defense. Uh, of teams sucked. Like, I, I, I gotta say, the defense looked like shit. All of them looked like they didn't even know what they were doing. Uh, nowadays, defenders are really, really good, especially uh, if you go into the good leagues like uh, the British Premier League or Spain or Italy. Italy is probably the winner in terms of defense, except for Juventus. Their defense sucks. Uh, Ronaldo, unfortunately, is on that team, and for me, it would be better to see him uh, at Madrid. Not that I hate Juventus, I actually watch it, watch the team now, I just think the team does not... It, it's like they have no ambition. Uh, I don't see them with... Uh, they don't want to win, is kind of how I feel. Like It's rare a player that looks like he wants to win on that team, they're like walking, they're not trying. There's only a few, like, uh, what's this, McKenny from the US? That kid is trying to win, you can tell that kid wants to win. You can tell Ronaldo wants to win, you can tell Morata wants to win. Um, but then the others, Bonucci, yeah, he's always been really good. But then the others kind of feel like they don't care. Um, I don't know, it's sad. I'd be surprised if they actually won the Champions League. Well, they gotta fight Porto tomorrow. And I am Portuguese, but I'm not gonna support Porto, not one little bit. Um, I don't like that team, I'm a Benfica fan. I'm also a Man United and Real Madrid fan. I don't really have a team in Italy or other countries. Those are the three teams I like. I've always liked them since I was a kid, maybe because back in the day you had Figo, Zidane, and then you had Beckham, Paul Scholes, and Giggs. I don't know, like, those reasons alone made me like those teams. And Benfica is just family, we all like Benfica, that's our team. Uh, one of my uncles is a big fanatic of that team, just like this wheel fanatic. Whoa, 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 for feedback, calm down. That is just taking you all the way down this straight line. Looks like I'm saving 11 seconds. 330k. Don't you dare run out of the track, baby. I slow down here. I do not want to hurt you. I did not run out of the track once on this lap. There's still time to fuck up though. Okay, so I'm saving. Saved about 11 seconds, did a 7.33. So I did do better, not like a crazy amount better. Like, even with this, on Project Cars 3, I did 7.12 somehow. So that kind of shows you how much different uh, the game itself is. So Project Cars 3, for people that haven't tested that game, uh, braking 
is extremely responsive and quick. So you're breaking distance in reality. Say I take my Acura on the highway and I'm doing 140 or 150 and I have to slam on brakes because some idiot in front of me decided to cut off the other guy and then he slams brakes and to avoid an accident, say I'm like, you know, say I'm like 100 feet away, it's probably not going to be enough because that braking distance. Uh, on a set of course, so you do have that braking distance, you got to anticipate and you guys can see that on the first lap. I didn't brake early enough, especially with a car without ABS and boom, you crash or you spin out or you're out of the track, something like that. Um, Project Cars 3, you can brake very late, almost at the curve, you can brake and then it also doesn't lock the brakes like this one does. So that takes away from the sim and that's where the differences are starting to kick in. And uh, what I was saying that the driving was similar, how the car feels, uh, in that department it's not similar, it's very different. In the braking department is very different, it's the steering that's similar, steering very similar. Um, the braking is very very different like you can almost break half so say this is the distance you should break on project on ac this is probably the distance you need to break on project cars 3 maybe even less so that itself compensates a lot of time which makes it a lot more irrealistic it's not realistic um i feel like this feels great ac obviously the winner uh this wasn't to compare the game itself, I already knew from the get-go and everyone that watches this will know that AC is a better sim, a better game altogether. Um, but Project Cars 3 is still fun, it's good to go play around with, so it's definitely worth it just to go with different cars. But if you're more into hardcore sim, forget it, don't even try, uh, because it's not hardcore. It's just a mild, very mild sim, and I've said that multiple times. Uh, with that said, that is it. And that is it for today, like I said, so please sub, uh, tune in for more, I'll be posting more videos, I'll probably start making more comparisons as well, uh, because there's a lot of cars that are mutual on these games. And uh, like I said, yeah, sub, stay safe, and the weather's getting warmer, so go outside, matter wear your masks, I guess, uh, depending where you are, and uh, yeah, have a good one.